So when you come to the clinic, really, there's no, for a checkup, there's nothing for you to be so anxious about. guys welcome back to my oral health diaries dr kendi here as usual <laughs> so on today's episode we are going to be discussing what you need to prepare for your dental visit and what to expect when you actually go for your dental visit so prior to having your dental checkup or dental visit it would be nice that you of course pick your preferred dental clinic and call prior to make an appointment. This is very important because it helps us to prepare ourselves to see you. If you're in pain, then you call prior. If it's just a checkup, still call prior because then you'll find the clinic ready to see you. Once you do that, make sure you honor your appointment and go. If something happens, make sure you call to cancel. But once you come into the clinic, what do you expect? You will come in, you will find people at the reception and someone to receive you. And it's important that you know you come in and make it clear why you're there for the, you know, why you are at the clinic and they will assist you. Remember to be kind <laughs> to those who you find at the clinic. So when you come in now for the checkup and you're already seated, what do you actually expect from us? What we normally do during a routine dental checkup is that first we visually assess. Of course, first we'll have a conversation with you, get to know why you're there, get to know your expectations, your goals, you know, just form a nice solid foundation. Then from there, we start with a visual inspection. During the visual inspection, what your dentist will be doing is just examining you. We normally start extra orally. We don't ask you to like open your mouth immediately. So what we check for extra orally is check whether you have any swellings, any asymmetry. That just means that, you know, your face could be, especially like for guys who are getting facial nerve palsy, you find that their face is not really like on hypocatic it's not centered so you find there's like asymmetry so we are also assessing for that we are also checking to see if there's any abnormality of the cranial nerves so different nerves in the cranial region perform different functions so your dentist may ask you to do a few things just to check that every cranial nerve is functioning well then from there we also check your temporomandibular joints let's just call it the tmj we make sure that you know you're comfortable when you're opening and you're not kind of you know struggling to open your mouth so this is a general extra oral examination just the basic and then now we go intra orally where we all like <laughs> so intra orally we are going to be assessing your teeth we want to check on you know how your teeth are the color if there's any change, if there's a cavity, if you're having any parafunctional habit, that just means you know, you're grinding your teeth. And these are the things we'll be assessing during a dental checkup for your teeth, what we can actually see on your teeth. Then from your teeth, we will now go and check your soft tissues. That's just your gum and the mucosal area around the teeth and the palate as we discussed. So we want to see if there's any swelling, if there's any color change, and you know, if there's any irregularity in these regions. That's what we focus on when we are doing a checkup. After we do the visual examination, most often we normally do a dental x-ray to accompany our visual exam. There are some areas in your oral cavity and also in your head and neck region that we are not able to appreciate visually. So we take a dental x-ray. This helps us to check the areas between your teeth and also to assess you know, the bones in the head and neck region just to make sure there's nothing. You know, let's demystify the myth that dental x-rays are not safe. They are very safe. We will have an episode where we will discuss what dental x-rays are, what to expect, how to protect yourself. But what we're saying is that dental x-rays are safe and they are very, very useful when we are doing our checkup to make sure everything is okay. Now, another thing that we normally do during a routine dental checkup is to check on your hygiene and we do dental cleaning or tooth cleaning at that time when you come for checkup. 
This is just because you cannot be achieving 100%. We discussed that. Even if you're really good, there's, there's always a margin of error. So we clean professionally just to make sure that we get the areas that you've not been getting properly. In addition to the cleaning, we also recommend that we do some fluoride therapy. Fluoride is important because then the fluoride that we deposit on the teeth helps to prevent cavities, helps to keep your teeth stronger. The last thing we normally do when we are doing our checkup, we check, um, we do an oral cancer screening. We will have a month during, you know, oral cancer awareness month, probably in April, where we will discuss more about oral cancer. But your dentist, when you come for a checkup, we are always keen to make sure that there's nothing that you know could be starting as a cancer or as a malignant lesion in your mouth or in the head and neck region so it's important and let me tell you if we find it early it is so so good for you because it is just excised or removed as opposed to when you stay home so this is a very important step so when you come to the clinic really there's no for a checkup there's nothing for you to be so anxious about so I am encouraging each one of us to make sure we have our dental checkups. Prevention is always better, remember that. And so now that we are prepared, make sure you choose your clinic, choose your preferred oral health care provider who will take good care of your teeth and teach you the best way to keep looking after your oral health. Thank you so much for joining us on this week's episode of My Oral Health Diaries. I hope it encourages you to go for your dental checkup. I will see you again next time when we discuss other things related to <laughs> oral health. Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep sharing the videos. Let's continue educating ourselves and making better decisions with regards to oral health. See you next time. Special thanks to Villa Dental Care for allowing us to use their space for this demonstration. We really appreciate them. It's an awesome place. If You're ready? All right. So can we start? Yeah. All right. You tell me. <laughs> Hi guys. Welcome back to my Okay. Hi. <laughs> I'm excited about this episode. Can I just have psych? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so anxious about